PC cases come in a variety of sizes. The question is, which one is right for you? What is going on guys? I am AJ and today we are going to be covering the different PC case sizes in order to better help you with your decision. So stick around and let's discuss this. While there are many different variations, PC cases can be grouped into three main categories. Mini ITX, Mid Tower, and Full or Super Tower. Those of you looking to build a small form factor PC will typically choose a case with the Mini ITX designation. And a quick note, despite being of the same class, many cases in this form factor vary in size and shape. The main pro of this form factor is its compact size. If you have limited desk space, this is probably the best way to go. This is also the ideal size if you're building an HTPC, as anything larger will either stick out or not fit at all. The main caveats regarding the smaller mini ITX cases are the internal space limitations as well as decreased thermal performance. At this size, you're going to be restricted to the type of parts you can use. For instance, you'll have to use a mini ITX motherboard as anything larger will not fit. The same goes for power supplies. A regular ATX PSU won't fit in a case like the Fractal Design Node 202 forcing you to opt for an SFX PSU that will. The same goes for air coolers, as you'll have to use something that's low profile. Speaking of coolers, custom water cooling and AIOs are not typically supported. That being said, let's take a look at the larger Mini ITX cases. Here, we have cases like the Thermaltake Core V1 and the Fantex Evolve Shift XT. While you're still restricted to using a mini ITX motherboard, these cases can support a 120 and 240mm AIO respectively. To sweeten the deal, the Core V1 can actually fit a full-sized ATX PSU on top of this. A case like the Fractal Design Define Nano can even support a minor custom water cooling loop. Next up, we have the most common form factor, the Mid Tower. Being larger than the Mini ITX while still being more conservative than the Full Tower, the Mid Tower is the best of both worlds. The main pro here is the flexibility. Being compatible with full-sized ATX motherboards and PSUs along with a variety of cooling methods give this form factor a high level of versatility. That being said, like the Mini ITX, not all Mid Towers are designed equally. Which brings up our main caveat, inconsistent dimensions. Even though mid towers can fit a full-sized ATX motherboard, some of them have top panels that give just enough clearance to make connecting or disconnecting your CPU power cable feasible at any stage of building. Some clearly do not. And even though some of the larger mid towers might fit an eATX motherboard, those may end up interfering with cable grommets like these. So it's best to do your earnest research when it comes to each part you plan on putting in your system. If the phrase go big or go home took on physical form, it would be our last category, the full tower. The main pro here is the massive amount of real estate it offers the hardcore enthusiast. On top of being able to easily fit E and EE ATX motherboards, this size typically allows the most room to fit in the craziest custom water cooling loops and things like gargantuan graphics cards. It also offers the most room for cable management. And they say size isn't everything. Main caveats here, however, are the price and the weight. The bigger these cases get, the more expensive they become. And not only do cases like this take up massive real estate on your desk, they will typically be heavier than most, especially upon adding things like coolant. As usual, let me know if I forgot anything and I'll see you guys in the comments.